Hello everyone and welcome back to Extreme Gaming Fever and guys welcome to the very first gameplay of Farming Simulator 23 on my channel so yeah a huge thanks to Giant Software for allowing me to share these gameplays with you before we proceed any further in this video I just want to clear that this is the preview version of Farming Simulator 23 it's not the final version so so in this video I will take you and together we will take a look at the American map of Farming Simulator 23, the Amberstone map. So let's go and start a new carrier. Of course, we will be starting this new carrier in the Amberstone map. Let's go and here we go. The very first gameplay on my channel of Farming Simulator 23. Okay guys, so whenever you start a new career in, uh, in Farming Simulator 23, just like in Farming Simulator 20, you will be greeted with this guided tour or whatever it is. It's basically a simple guide which will introduce you to the basics of the game. But if you have already played Farming Simulator games and you know very well how Farming Simulator games are, how farming simulator games work so you can simply skip this but if you are a beginner i strongly recommend that you take these uh introduction introductory guides or this these guides because they will help you to understand how the game works so with that being said let's wow so this is our farm home sweet home so this is going to be our farm for god knows how long and this is first of all uh, my first reaction or my first expression is it's just like Farming Simulator 22, the PC version of the game. I can't really believe, I mean, if you remove this UI and ask me which game is which, I, it, it, will be, it will be very tough for me to guess which game is Farming Simulator 23 and which game is Farming Simulator 22. It's really, really close and I was not expecting it. So yeah, all those screenshots were actually true and the game is absolutely amazing. Wow. So obviously this is the farm. This is our farm and this time we have a lot of space to park our vehicles. So this is our farmhouse. You can also sleep here. And uh, to start with, I guess we do have some chickens. I will come to that later in my upcoming gameplays. And the very first thing you see uh, when you enter in this map is these huge silos so these are your silage you drop your crops here and when you need or you want to sell them you can unload them from here with this the help of this pipe and uh, this is the hayloft you can store uh, bales or pallets here in this building and it's really really interesting i guess this is something new that now we will be able to store pallets as well so this is the place where you will drop your pallets or bales and this is the place where you load them back when yeah, whenever you need. So this is a shelter and it's uh, quite matched with the hayloft and it's really interesting. You can park your vehicles or tools here. Really, really interesting. So the very first building that I'm interested in visiting and that is also very close to our farm is the cow farm so here it is the cow farm so the very first thing that you will notice is this uh, manor pit so basically where, uh, <laughs> when your cows pr will produce manor it will appear here and from here you can load your manor and spread it in your fields to increase your yield so this is the cow farm and it's a huge cow farm wow that's really really huge you can see obviously in upcoming gameplays i will be working on cows as well so next to the cow farm there are a few buildings but i guess these are just for the decoration purpose there is no practical use of this building yeah that's that so this is basically your cow farm so now let's go and enter in one of the vehicles and start exploring this map because i am so much hyped to explore okay so there is one thing that i also want to admit or i want to clear is that uh, this is uh, my very first time using the nintendo switch so i'm still getting used to these new control scheme uh, previously i 
I was uh, I was using the Xbox controller, so I am more used to those control schemes. So this is a totally new thing to me. So yeah, let's go and move on. So the very first building that you see uh, near your farm is this one. So obviously there are two buildings next to each other. One of them is a selling station. I don't really know the name of the selling station, but yeah, there there is a selling station very close to our farm and it's really interesting so here is the okay so this is where we can sell our stuff and it's really interesting that we have a selling station very close to our farm and there are also two buildings but again these are just for decoration so yeah so yeah if we move on in this direction uh, there is another building and that building is also just for decoration purpose there is no practical use for that building and if we move on here here is the cottage hill estate established 1925 so this is the sheep farm and it's also huge sheep farm you can have your sheep here and uh, this is also very close to the farm and uh, i guess it's it will be much easy to uh, approach the sheep farm because it's it's not that far from your farm and it's really really interesting and uh, i guess it's again a huge and the uh, large variant of the sheep farm so yeah here you there you go this is your sheep farm and you can buy and start working on your sheep whenever you are ready so let's keep going in this direction and this is the next building is the dairy so this is the very first production buildings that I'm going to show you in this in this video and uh, this is the dairy and uh, you can sell your milk here but if you will purchase this building you can also start productions in this building so you can probably make cheese from this building and then sell that cheese for for even higher price that's really interesting so this is your dairy and there is uh, another interesting fact about this building is that there is a milk carton that is rotating on top of this building and it really makes the game more lively that's really cool so let's get back to the tractor and okay again i guess i pressed the wrong button oh there is a dude driving a car next to us so i guess traffic is improved as well so there is another building it just looks like our farmhouse but it's not so it is again a decorative building and if we keep moving in this direction so i uh, i guess you have got the point i'm just trying to keep this video short because if if i were to explain and show you everything this video can cross easily two hours time so i mean this video can be two hours long and i guess nobody would watch that long video so this is another uh selling station oh my god the rain is already starting wow so the guys this is another selling station and it's not a production building so here you will be able to sell your stuff most likely your crops and uh, th there, there is no production associated with this building I'm really surprised though because this building looks huge it could be used as a production building but again uh, giant software it's according to developers so if we keep moving in this direction there is another decorative building and this dirt road is really really amazing so the rain have kind of uh, spoiled my gameplay so I guess before proceeding any further in this video i have to skip the night because uh, this just really ruins the fun of it i skipped a day and the rain started again the next day so i have to skip two days instead of one so we are now in october so you will see some changes in the lighting of the game because obviously the seasons are changing now so let's get back into the tractor so you can see the Three leaves have changed its color. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because, uh, anyways, let's start and uh, let's keep exploring the map. So, 
we have already seen this part of the map so we are going in this part of the map now so let's go and see what else we need to explore so if we go in this direction uh, there is another animal farm so it's your turn to guess which animal farm is coming up next so three two one let me reveal it it's the pig tree or the pig farm so here is the name of this <laughs> the stafford pig tree or the stafford pig farm so this is your pig farm not that but that one this one so this is your pig farm and uh, if we i come out of my tractor and first of all let me change this time okay out of my tractor and show you so this is again the manor pit and this is your pig farm so you can start working on your pigs whenever you are ready so this is the pig farm and again uh, there are some buildings uh, located on the pig farm as well so there is no practical use of these buildings they are just for decoration and make the map even more interesting so yeah there you go this is your pig farm let's get back into the tractor and explore some more things so here we go so if we uh, from this from the pig farm if we drive this tractor in this direction and if we follow this dirt road which is very very beautiful i really like the new texture of this grass so what you think about this new grass texture let me know in the comment section i really like this it's just like farming simulator 22 and uh, after following this dirt road ladies and gentlemen you are in the industrial zone of the emberstone because all these buildings are production buildings and i'm really surprised how many production buildings are here next to each other so first of all we have the oil mill so what you, what this building does is that you can sell your different um, grains here which produce oil such as canola sunflower or olives and if you purchase this building you can also process all these crops and make oil from these crops such as canola oil sunflower oil and olive oil so next to this building uh, there is another building and it i guess it's the sugar mill so here is your sugar mill let me come out of this tractor because it's impossible to show you how big this building is so this is the sugar mill and obviously when you will unload sugar beets here and start processing your sugar beets you can make sugar pellets from this from this building and this is the oil mill that i just talked about recently and if we go in this direction we have the cereals factory you can process your wheat or other crops or even flour i guess and uh, make cereal so I will make another gameplay or uh, in upcoming gameplays you will see how we can make cereals in farming simulator 23 but for now this is your cereal factory and there are three production buildings next to each other and next to these production buildings here is your gas station and it's really really interesting i guess i can walk faster on my foot than driving my tractor around so guys this is the gas station and you can fill your vehicles with gas from here and it's really american style because we are it makes sense because we are in the american farm and there is your carpentry uh, and other production buildings basically if you do forestry you can unload your wood here and turn it into the furniture so here is another production building do keep in mind you need to purchase all these production buildings without purchasing these buildings you won't be able to start productions inside these buildings so this road goes towards the end of the map i guess and again there is a building so let's check if it's a useful building no this is not it's just a decorative building and if we keep going in this direction here is your biogas plant so here you can unload your chaff and make celery wow so already there are some things let's check this out so here is the silage bunker i guess there is a 
already processed chaff. The chaff has turned into silage. Biogas plant, chaff and grass selling places. So here you can sell your chaff. So they are already filled. I guess this this is really interesting because it will help beginners, uh, beginners to understand and they can spot the chaff from quite far away and they can understand that uh, if they have the chaff, this is the place where they can sell the chaff. So again, then there is this building. I don't know what it is, what it is, but I guess there may be something in future updates, but who knows? And if we go in this direction here, you can probably sell your slurry. Slurry or manor. It depends, whatever you like. So digest state landing. Probably you can sell your manor here. And we can find this what you can sell on these triggers in uh, in the upcoming gameplay. So it's a good point to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's a good time to subscribe because I will be bringing more interesting gameplays of Farming Simulator 23 very soon. So I guess there is another building that we haven't explored yet. And this is the mountain mill so this is a uh, grain mill and here is uh, so basically this is another production building and you can start producing floor from this building because obviously the name suggests that it's it's a mill it's a grain mill and you can process wheat barley and turn them into the floor so here is another production building and this is the grape processing plant you can unload your grapes here and turn them into raisins and then sell those raisins for a higher price. What else? Do we have anything left? Probably yes. There are some more buildings here. So one of them is certainly the production building. So here is another production building. I don't really know what it is. Let's go and find out grain grain storage so this is uh, probably a selling station it's not a production building and you can also buy your solid fertilizer from here and we have pretty much explored our other buildings beside this little cute one and that is the bakery <laughs> and you can start making uh, start produ producing cakes or breads in this one and it is very close to your farm this is the sawmill where you can sell your wood or maybe turn them into something else but yeah this is the sawmill and here you can sell your wood when you do some forestry yes the spinnery here is your spinnery guys in farming simulator 23 here is your spinnery so where you can unload your wool or cotton and it will produce cloths for you so you may be wondering i have shown you each and everything but i haven't shown you where is the animal stealer shop so here is the animal dealership livestock trade by Tier turner turner that's a really interesting name for the animals dealership and this is the building of the animals dealership it looks really huge and classic so let's take a look and walk around this building and see how it looks to be honest this is amazing wow the bricks they are looking absolutely fine you can i guess you can take a sneak peek inside this building but uh nope not really not all there isn't a lot to see inside this building yeah so this is the animal dealership and now let's walk towards so you can basically sell your animals here and obviously there is a trigger where you can load your animals if you want to do it manually otherwise you can simply buy all the animals from the how do you jump Otherwise, you can all you can purchase all the animals from the animal farm. 
so you don't really need to do all the hassles to manually pick up your animals but if you like realism then you can go for it and purchase your animals from the animal dealership we just saw so this is the tailor shop guys where you can stitch your cloths and uh, stitch the fabrics and turn them into the cloth so now let's go to the most beautiful part of the map and that is the canyon so i'm just heading toward the canyon this is by the way the shop so this is the shop of far of so this is the shop in emberstone map clever motors whoa <laughs> look at that wow seen this map so we are walking on this road and walking through this canyon this is the most beautiful part of this map the canyon and it's just amazing look at that look at this view it's really really amazing here we go careful from the traffic i guess they definitely have improved the traffic a lot because i was driving and it they were really behaving very well it's nothing like they were totally blocking you and then pressing the horn again and again so yeah they have absolutely improved their traffic so after going through the canyon you will be back on your farm so guys that was the uh, complete walkthrough of the emberstone map i hope that you will enjoy this video i will see you in my next video very soon Bye-bye.